Supreme Spring Summer 24 season is upon us. Week one is chock full of items. They have jackets, t-shirts, hoodies, sweaters, bags, hedge clippers. This season has everything you can ask for except for one thing, this guy. <laughs> Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest. That's right, I'm back, and so is Supreme. Spring, Summer 24 is here, and I'm going to take you through some of the best items that I think that you should be targeting for week one. What? Why? Why? Before I get into that, I do want to make sure that you guys are in the Fauntleroy's Finest Discord. Larry's streetwear guides give you up-to-the-minute information on everything dropping throughout the week, not just Supreme. Manny gives us all the information for shoes that are dropping throughout the month. The New Wave Lee's been hooking us up with stock numbers and raffles throughout the internet. And of course, the ACO channel. Our resident botter is there to run a cart for you if you don't think you're good enough to do it on your own. Best of all, there's no cost to become a member. All you gotta do is click the invite link in the description below. So come on in and say hi, and, and then you'll probably ask when box logos are dropping, because because you're a Timmy. I guess that's your theory. This is a massive week one. There's something like 70 plus items that they're gonna be releasing this week. I don't have the patience to go through each and every one of them. What I am gonna do is go through the list, talk about my favorite items in each category, and give you some predictions on resale and basically just what I like in general. Terrible. I'm gonna try to show you guys the entire list as we're scrolling up. Not a big fan of any of the bottom two rows here. But the first thing I want to talk about is this paint long sleeve top. It's low on the Supreme Community list. It's a long sleeve shirt. They're $98. Probably no resale in it. I just think it's kind of a cool one. And right next to it, this brush zip up argyle sweater. Again, the colorway is not that amazing. But I do think the one that's more olive tone that has a little pink hit in it, I think that colorway actually is pretty decent. But this being a vest and not a cardigan I think hurts it a little bit, and I'm not really a fan of the other colorway at all. It feels like that olive one could go well with Travis Scott items as well. I don't really love this one for resale, but it could be sneaky. Not a terrible price, but I don't know, it's just a vest. It's complicated, so pay attention. After that one, not a huge fan of any of these. We're gonna go all the way up to this Weirdo Dave hooded sweatshirt. I feel like Weirdo Dave's starting to phone it in, but maybe that's just me. The Champagne Corduroy 5 panel is the first hat that I've seen that really kind of makes me go, hey, that might be a decent hat. Only problem is it's a 5 panel. The brown one definitely gives me that Siegelman stable kind of vibe. That's kind of the only reason I brought it up. But it's a nice clean little hat, although a 5 panel and $48, a little bit expensive, but still, decent little hat. And they have some cargo pants, a flannel snap up, a chino pant, but none of those are a zebra cashmere sweater. I think I know that Manny needs one of these. Larry's probably gonna have to get one. These are actually gonna be pretty nice sweaters. 248 is gonna be kind of steep, but I don't think that they're gonna make very many of these. All the basic colorways are gonna be nice as well. I'm not sure if I really would recommend this for you reseller boys. There's gonna be a lot better things to go after, but this is a really nice sweater, and I just figure I'd let you know about it. But we do have our first tee, the standard tee. Not a fan. And gonna move along. No, don't like that. I do want to point out that they're making two different styles of these selvage jeans. These are gonna be really nice jeans and the price point isn't actually that bad when it comes to selvage jeans. So they're gonna have a baggy style and a slim style. The slim style is 168, baggy style 178. I don't think that there will be many of these made and I do think that these have the potential to do well in bigger sizes. Sorry to all the big old boys out there, but you know if you don't cop on drop day, you're paying a shit ton of money for your stuff. All right, then we're going through some skateboard stuff, some small box sweatpants, some jeans, and then I really like this football zip-up hooded sweatshirt. I think all the colorways actually are pretty good, but I feel like last year, last season, we had a bunch of brown stuff. Brown really hit. And black, you know, is always the safest. I think that that white Chargers colorway is really talking to me. I usually don't like white colorways, but this one looks really good. I think this is the one that really pops out to me. Especially since we're heading into spring. Give us some bright colors. I think big sizes in this one could do pretty good. 
And like I said, black is probably safest. Brown, probably my least favorite. I mean, it is Cleveland brown colorway, so you have to have some low self-esteem to wear that one. Even though I'm a dipshit loser. But I think this is one of the first items that I can say you pick these up in XL, XXL, you should make a decent little profit on them. And then we have the Supreme Tagless Tank Tops finally making their appearance on the list. We're getting a gray colorway. You know your boy is going to end up having to get some gray socks this week or at some point throughout the season. And then the next item on the list, this might be one of the sleepers of the week. This satin hooded track jacket. I think all these colorways are super clean. And it has that really nice supreme hit on the back. It looks like something you'd wear on your way to the boxing ring to take on whoever the hell you would be boxing. I mean, you're not a professional or anything. And 198 isn't really that bad of a price point. I think a black colorway in XXL could be a sneaky little pickup this week. I do wish the price point was a little bit lower, but I think that you're going to be okay either way. And this St. Sebastian long sleeve tee is probably one of my favorite long sleeve tees that they've made in quite a long time. I don't know why, but those colorways really look good together. And as far as Supreme Community goes, it looks like there's only one colorway as well. And $54 isn't that expensive, especially when they usually charge like $98 for the long sleeves. This is probably just going to be thinner, more t-shirt material. Usually the more expensive long sleeves cost a little bit more because they're a thicker material. You should be able to make your money on any t-shirts if you go XL, XXL though. Especially if this is only one colorway. Cool. And then obviously they will be releasing bags this week. Uh, some of my favorite bags are going to be the duffel bags. I think that those generally have pretty good resale value. You do have to hold on to bags because these bags will be in stock for, I don't know, most of the season in some colorways. I'm not a big fan of ripstop bags. I do like the camo version of this bag. I think those probably will do really well. The black colorway usually does pretty good with the duffel bags as well. I think the ripstop material is making these a little more expensive or they're taxing you a little bit for whatever reason so not my favorite duffel bags I think last season's duffel bags were better but these are still good duffel bags they're not mashed they're not see-through they're good usable duffel bags so you should be okay but they are definitely a hold item that reversible down puffer jacket is a little boring now this shadow tee not my favorite but again most t-shirts if you buy an XL XXL you can make some profit on them somewhere down the road but I am a pretty big fan of this 99 long sleeve football top I, I think this is a really cool clean piece the 110 price point seems a little bit scary to me I don't know if you can really pull this off as a jersey it, it kind of looks like one but we all know this is a long sleeve shirt and again for some reason that white colorway is really popping out to me obviously it's the only one that's not super dark i think it's a little risky buying these for resale but i do think it's a cool piece and would make an awesome personal oh isn't that nice an expensive parka a fitted s logo and yes the faux fur jacket uh, i'm not really sure how i feel about this particular faux fur jacket but i definitely dislike the 400 dollars price point it was nice seeing you, buddy. I think these over-dyed beanies are a pretty good pickup as well if you're grabbing a bunch of stuff in different carts. And then this waist bag for $78 is usually a really good pickup. And again, I really do like the camo colorway, but honestly, the more I look at it, that orange colorway is really popping out to me and it really kind of looks good. But obviously, black is generally king as far as these bags go. Uh, next, the Hanes t-shirt. Washed canvas boonie. I don't think anybody wants boonies anymore. But I think this gradient space dyed beanie is definitely something to keep your eye on. I think the more colorful version of this beanie is one you want to target. I feel like this beanie probably will sell out. And knowing how well that hand tied beanie did last year, something like this could do pretty well. Now, I don't think this is going to go for anywhere near like that hand tied beanie did. But I do feel pretty confident that there's profit in this one for sure down the road. You're so Stupid. And then I guess I'll talk about this Futura sweater. I'm not a huge fan of it. 168, not a bad price point. I don't really see any resale here though, so if you like it, I would grab it. But otherwise, just keep going. And then we have some small box hooded sweatshirts. We got the Gore-Tex Anorak that's $298. And then we have this patchwork tee. Now, I think this one has the potential to do all right as well. You should go ahead and pick it up in XL, XXL if you're looking to flip. I think this colorway looks really good. Probably the darker colorways will look better with this one. The letters are very colorful and they'll pop out better on the darker colors. So black, maybe navy will look pretty good. But there might be some variants, so definitely pay attention. Anything that looks really good to you probably will look good to somebody else. 
And then right after that, we have these Mechanics Leather Gloves. They're only $58. I say only, but it does feel like that's a low price for something like these. I definitely can see these work gloves selling out. I don't know if there's a bunch of resell in these, but I could definitely see people paying like 100 bucks for gloves. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm an idiot. If you're buying a crazy amount of stuff this week, why not pick up some of these gloves? It doesn't seem that crazy to me that these could like raise to like $100 or so. It could be a little risky, but it's not like it's $200 or anything. Son of a mother duck! And then the backpack at 158 seems to be another bag that's worth picking up. Again, to me, the orange one and the camo one really do stick out pretty nice. But like always, the black bags usually do the best. They usually sell out in black. Like most bags, if you do pick them up, they're going to be a hold, and you're going to need to hold them until they actually sell out. So hopefully that's not the end of the spring-summer season. Next up, we have the Supreme Crew 96 tee. I do kind of like this tee. I can't see exactly what's on it. I'm assuming it's their crew from 96, but maybe. I'm wrong but these are the type of t-shirts I like just some dudes on a skateboard doing some skateboardy kind of shit do I think this will resell no this is a personal again any t-shirts probably worth picking up in XL XXL but I don't think this one's gonna sell out you're probably gonna have plenty of time to get it even though it's this high up on the list and then next up I think probably one of the best bags to pick up for profit is gonna be this shoulder bag same colorways black usually does the best I do like the camo and I think the orange looks good honestly all the colorways are pretty good, but that, that orange one is really sticking out to me. That might be the one that sells out this season. But a $54 price point for these shoulder bags is printing money. These things should really touch around $100 plus, depending on how quickly they sell out. And usually these are the best bags to pick up on week one. But by God, I'm very interested in these mini duffel bags. And it looks like the rest of you are too. These mini duffel bags are the highest rated bags on the Supreme Community list. They're a lot bigger than the shoulder bag, in fact. It almost has four times as much room on the inside than the shoulder bag for less than double the price. So I don't think you should let that $98 price point scare you too much with that word mini duffel bag. I think it has about the same sort of space as a normal sized purse maybe. I think these are worth taking a gamble on. I don't think we've seen a mini duffel bag from Supreme before other than maybe this guy and he's just a keychain. So if you are the type of person that likes going after bags, I would recommend taking a stab at this guy. Future a skateboard, and then of course the Supreme Hedge Clippers. Yeah, we need those. They're a hundred and ten dollars. Most of you don't even have a hedge. You live in an apartment. Just, just move along. And right next to that is this collegiate hooded sweatshirt. I do remember these doing okay last year. These type of items are also the ones you can pick up in XL, XXL. They're going to be hold, but eventually they will go up over time. I think any of the colorways where the Supreme just pops off of the shirt, you should be okay with those. That being said, there's probably better things to go after, and you're probably going to have to hold on to them for a while if you're going to want to make it worthwhile to actually pick it up in the first place. Next up, my socks. A $28 keychain. And this routed box logo skateboard is definitely my favorite deck of the week. I'm not really going to tell anyone to go buy decks to resell them anymore, but this would be one that might have a chance. That's crazy! People have wanted a Muppet shirt for a long time from Supreme since the Kermit shirt. And this will be the first one out the gate. I know they leaked a Miss Piggy tee. Uh, I expect some other Kermit items to come along during the season. I feel like we're gonna have a Muppet rainfall, but I do think this is also one of those shirts you should be targeting for resell if you are into that. But this graphic should look okay on almost every colorway. Obviously the black colorway would be the best in XL, XXL, but you also have to just pay attention to what other colorways drop and how those t-shirts look. So just take that extra second to kind of look at all the colors and make sure that black is definitely the best one. I also want to talk about this big logo Chanel Varsity jacket. The red colorway looks really cool, but it's close to like a $600 jacket, so I, I just, I don't know about that. I think we've seen better Varsity jackets that went for less from Supreme, but they're definitely going to be rare. There's not going to be that many of them. It just seems like a hefty amount to go into if you're trying to resell these things. And finally, Manny's getting his Mac tote tray. He's going to put all his carpenter tools inside of this thing. Probably he's just going to carry his drinks around in it to be brutally honest. 
honest with you. I think $98 actually isn't really that bad of a price for this thing. This is one of those items that could be a sneaky little sleeper, but it's also very risky. I'm not really 100% sure who the audience is that's paying much more than that $100 price point that the retail is. Super cool piece, definitely a really cool personal, and potentially could flip down the road, maybe. I don't know. Donnie, you're out of your element. And then they're going to bring out some bandanas. I, I think that those will probably sell out as well. The last time they had anything like this, it was gone really quickly. And with such a low price point, it seems like there is definitely potential for these to flip. You can't go wrong. People love bandanas. And here we go. The Timmys are about to rejoice. We are getting a box logo, although it's the Futura box logo. I know Larry likes it. I know a lot of the other guys like it. Man, I just don't want to say it, but I feel like I'm kind of box logoed out. No! I know, I know, sue me. Yeah, this is a really cool piece. It's a really cool t-shirt. I, I don't think it's going to be looked at like a traditional box logo. I don't think that they're going to go for $300 or anything like that. They're definitely going to turn you a little bit of a profit, especially some of these better colorways. This is another shirt that you should check out all the colorways. I imagine all of them will sell out pretty quickly, but I don't think that this is going to be the best reseller of the week. I just don't think it's worth focusing your time on grabbing this box logo, unless it's one that you really just want for the personal. $44, great price point, but again, XL, XXLs if you're going for reselling. Even though I don't think this one explodes in the resale market, I I do think it'll have a decent profit for you right away. And then we have the Supreme First Gear truck. It's it's a little toy truck and it's $128. I think these are just like really in-depth kind of model type of things. I'm honestly not super familiar with the First Gear brand. I thought it was a really cool piece when I saw it in the lookbook, but I think it's way less cool now that it's $120. I don't need a matchbox car that bad. But if you have the money to blow on these, I mean, it would look great on a shelf, right? Next up, and I'm a little bit shocked, the number one tee is the Maradona tee, one of the original soccer goats of the world, or as you say in Europe, football. Maradona was one of the original goats of that game for sure and Supreme is displaying him on this t-shirt. Now, if it was Kobe Bryant on the t-shirt, I'd be all over it. I'm just not really a soccer dude, but if you are a soccer guy and you love the classic soccer players, you should really pick this shirt up. I don't really think this shirt's gonna do gangbusters or anything, but maybe the black colorway XXL does do all right. Potentially the green or white shirt could do all right as well. Anything that kind of mimics the jersey colors that he has on in the picture. But again, it's really hard to fuck up a t-shirt. They are some of the cheapest price points that they give us, so t-shirts usually do well over time. And if you grab those XL, XXL sizes, like I've been saying, you should be okay with any t-shirt. And then I just have to show you this, the number two item of the Supreme's week one for spring summer 24 is a pair of gray underwear. I don't know what you Timmys are all about, you're voting up underwear. <laughs> and for the number one item, you're voting up the free silly straw. 75 plus items and this was the number one item of the week and you know why this is the number one item of the week because everybody's broke inflation give me a break that's a bunch of malarkey people giving something away for free we can't believe it it's the greatest thing we've ever seen i'm literally only trying to buy something this week because i need a free gift i remember the stuff i bought like week two or just a little bit after week one those came with toothpicks. I only ended up with two different packs, and I bought a bunch of stuff week one, so definitely don't expect to get these in every single package that you buy. All right, guys. Wow, that is a huge drop list. I tried to go through as much of the good stuff as I could. Hopefully, this is going to help you out and be your guide to all things Supreme Week 1. I apologize I'm not able to do live streams right now. I'm literally in the middle of the ocean in Italy. Italian oceans generally, not always, but generally don't have the best internet for streaming, and that is currently the case for me. So all I'm going to say to you guys right now is good luck. I hope that you all are able to cop everything that your heart desires. Check out the Discord. We have ACO. That means you can use somebody else's bot to buy the stuff that you need. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I am back. We're making more content. Supreme and all those brands are here. So we're going to keep talking about them. That's not what I'm about.
Not now. Not ever. And if for some reason this video didn't give you all the Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, you should check out these videos right here. Cups, cups. Toast up with the game. Gang, gang. For full stop to a whole nother domain. Out the bottle.